Are you sick of winter yet? Uh, I've been sick of it since since July. Since it started well, January 1st. It did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, more winter. It's back. It's cold this morning. Bundle up. We have got temperatures ranging from freezing up in Macomb to 36 in Hammond to 40 in Kenner, uh, 41 downtown to 37 in Thibodeau. So really, really chilly. The wind chills are in the 20s and 30s because it is a little breezy. And oh my gosh, we still have this band of rain sitting over us. This is the same kind of situation we were dealing with all yesterday afternoon. Then it started to weaken a little bit and we've had light rain on and off all night. Notice uh, radar trying to depict maybe some sleet freezing rain once you get north of a meet towards Kentwood Macomb. If you do live up in that northern direction, let us know exactly what you're seeing. I don't think we're seeing any uh, frozen preset, but the radar thinks we are. It is getting close to about 32, so it's possible maybe a little freezing rain tries to fall north of Macomb, but the rest of us were all above freezing, just liquid, and this is what it's going to look like all morning. Light rain on and off through the morning, through parts of the afternoon, but we should start to dry out through the day. But notice I don't have these clouds clearing out anytime soon, so it's going to be a cloudy day, 40s for your highs, low 40s. And a lot of the day may be spent in the upper 30s for some of you. So the chill is on. And it's going to be a winter like day. We saw some pretty big rain totals yesterday. Of course, we did see some flooding. These are official rain totals at our official sites like the airport. We picked up just over two inches at the airport yesterday. Slidell picked up over three. Bogalusa was the big winner. We saw that uh, heavy sail set over Bogalusa, and that's where we saw that um, that flooding up. We were just reported on on that high water rescue. They saw nearly five inches in uh, officially. Bell Chase a little over an inch in um, quarter and Gulfport saw just over an inch. But when we ask our viewers what they saw, these are some of the totals at some of the sites where we don't have official numbers, but this is what you picked up. Tony and Hammond picked up around five inches. Kenny over in Vashery picked up a little over five inches. Uh, down in Thibodeau, I had a report of about six and a quarter inches. And someone's rain gauge, Judy over in River Ridge, a little bit lower here in the metro, where it's about two to three inches. And then up in Bogalusa, another site picking up nearly four and a half inches of rain. So we did see some big rain totals yesterday that did lead to some flooding. Now models are not doing a great job this morning depicting the light rain we have over. So we're still going to have some showers, I think, through the morning and even into early parts of the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the low 40s. Clouds will start to break down by tonight, and that does mean it is going to get cold tonight. And you need to do protect people, pets, and plants on both sides of the lake. Reason for that, while I'm not forecasting a freeze in New Orleans, will be close enough to where we can easily see some frost and maybe zap some of those plants. So no matter where you're at, north or south shore, go ahead and bring in the plants or cover them tonight to make sure they're safe. I don't have anyone worrying about pipes as this should be just a light freeze. It stays cool through the weekend, through next week. And no, I don't have a big warm up anytime soon. So if you're wanting the 70s and 80s, we're probably gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Perhaps, though, this pattern will flip by the end of the month. You know what the end of the month is. We're getting closer to Mardi Gras, so we'll see what the pattern holds. It's too early to tell the exact forecast on Mardi Gras, uh, but overall, maybe we'll get all the cool weather and cold weather out of the way at the beginning of this month. We'll see. There's your temperature forecast. There's the weekend forecast looking pretty good. Lots of sunshine tomorrow and into Sunday. Your mornings will be cold, a little frosty, but the afternoon's cool and sunny. Next week, staying in the 50s, we'll have a quick little disturbance on Monday that might produce one or two showers, but right now it doesn't look like a big rainmaker. April.